up YouTube this is Woody coming back with another video today today's gonna be a different day today it's gonna be something different than what we I've ever done on the channel before I've been wanting to do experiment with so and see how you like it today we're gonna do some truck stuff in case you didn't know I drive a truck when I'm not on my bike I have a O2 beautiful black Silverado. Today we're going to do the back brakes. And uh, this is a type of video that I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, but I didn't know how you guys would like it. So we're going to test it out today. So you have to tell me if this is something that you like and you want to see more of on the channel. So I'll start off with I broke loose my bolts. My lug nuts. I took them finger tight or loose, whatever, and uh, I already jacked up the side of the truck. I'm gonna pop this off. I'm just gonna do a quick rear, rear brake job. No big deal. I'm trying to find uh, some new content to bring to you guys, so it's not just me on a bike or anything like that. I don't want. I don't want to be a, a one-trick pony or anything like that. I want to have some depth to my, get some depth to my channel, so hopefully you guys like this kind of stuff. And maybe I can get some more of it. So I, gotta, I, I ain't going to be doing any major mechanic stuff, um, but we'll the basic maintenance and stuff. So I start off with, I loosen my bolts, jack the truck up. Um, uh, you only need to get this thing high enough to get the tire off the ground. That's it. The higher you got it up in the air, the higher you have to lift this thing to put it back on the truck. These big tires aren't exactly the lightest thing ever. So I just get it maybe like a half inch, inch off the ground. Plenty high enough. So I got it off. It looks pretty bad. The brakes look pretty bad. I'm thinking that's like a 12 millimeter. Let's see. Probably a 13. Let's see. Well, that's 12. So you're just going to bust it loose. Put your closed end on there. And what I do is hold on to it, punch the back of my hand to break it loose. Some people, sometimes you can take and uh, turn it this way, obviously. So you get your long end up and then you can hook your other another wrench up to it and give you a longer leverage on it. So you got one down here. Or I would just hit the wrench, one down there. These brakes on these trucks are super easy. We're not doing any um I'm gonna put my bolts up here so I don't lose them or anything like that. Stick them up there out of the way. Uh, I gotta get my clamp. Okay, this is, so this is a big thing that you need when you're doing brakes. So get the bolts out, just wiggle it off, comes right off. Now I don't twi don't want to twist this up or anything, get extra kinks in this, or that way when I go to put it back on, it's and the line's still straight and everything. So I just set it up here out of the way. Usually turn it up like that. Prop it up on something. I let these go just a little too long. Let me pop those out. They just slide out. These are your dust shields. They come with the new brakes. Just kind of wipe some of this stuff off. It's a little rusty. These trucks are known for that. All right, new brake pads. Got my new brake pads here. All right, so basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your old brake pad, okay, and you're gonna put it up against the piston, like that. Just like that. Open your clamp up, and you'll find the flat spot on the back of your brake caliber. And then just tighten it up. Get it nice and snug. This is gonna be hard on some cars, like it just depends on how much 
I seen uh, Jake do this on a motorcycle, and it was he did he could do it with his hands. But you're doing this is on a truck. The system's a little bigger, carries a little more pressure in it. So you're going to need this to compress that. You got to get that compressed to make room for the new brake pads. Because this, is, as the brake pads wear, this adjusts out to keep the brakes out against the rotor. So you're just going to tighten it all the way down. It's real simple. It's a little tight, but you're pushing all that pressure back out of it. Let me slide off. If you ain't got straight, it's going to want to walk off the part. These were out about as far as they could go. So, if it gets too hard, you can put a wrench on this to help get more leverage on it. I think that's going to be good enough. Let's try to see if I can get a little bit more. So, you can stick your wrench on here like that. Give you a longer handle if you need to. Bring it back up. Just so it's a little more level wrench on it, that's all. Alright, I think that's good enough. Listen it up, take that out. Now your brake pads, I'll just leave that set. The new brake pads come with that clamp we took off. I should have had two. Alright, this is the dust guard. It goes in the back of your caliper. This, this is the part that we took off. Mm -hmm. Fell out. It just pops up in there. Like it's supposed to. So just should pop right in. We got a lot of build up on it. A lot of build up on it. There it goes. Yeah, I was just shoving it. You got your new brake pads now. You you want to make sure that you don't get your dirty hands on the pad itself. So kind of handle it from the back. And slide it in. There's no um, there's no front or back pad. They're both the same or the inside or outside, they're both the same. They got the squealer and everything else. Now when your brake starts getting low, this is the, that's what you hear squeaking, grinding or scratching. This is what, this is your indicator to tell you, hey, your brakes are getting low. Time to change your brakes. slide together just like that now we're going to change this brake the dust guard because we might as well I think we are okay we are <laughs> um, 
I think one of these things is supposed to be on the bottom too. Let's see if we can put one on. I don't know why it's not on there. I think this is the first time I've done the bricks. Oh, I, I can't remember if I've done bricks on this before or not. I'll take this off. And put this on. Pretty sure this is supposed to go on top and bottom. Now let's see how this is loose. That's because your wheel's not on. Once your wheel's tightened up against that, it'll hold it in there straight. That's why I'm having to push on it. If you can't get it in, you won't use it. We didn't have it before. Let's see if we can get the pad in there. Now, I think all that's supposed to do is like take some play out of it. Pretty sure. See, yeah, I think that's why it's not in there before. to be able to move around so because of the corrosion so it's keeping it from fitting with that part on anyway so we'll go without that so this uh dust guard is pretty simple it's like this it just pops right in there just gonna grab it, pull it off, comes right out. Get all my junk out of the way. So, take the other one, and it's gonna go in just like that, up behind the piston, and this clip goes through your hole here, and it hooks right here and right here. Just stick it in, just pops right in. And that's gonna help. I think this is what helps keep the dust, break dust down. So. Now this is going to be a little tight getting on. This is no big deal. Make sure your rubber boots for your bolts, kind of push them in behind this so they don't get tore up. Or pulled up on you. So you get it in there, put your hole bolt in that hole, line it up, get it started. I take them all the way in. So, so I can't turn them with my finger no more. From the bottom, shake it around from the hole. This thing's about time for a, a new rotor, but I'm not gonna do it today. There might be another video because so with these, this does have drum brakes on it. And see what it is, is it's got um, rotors on the front and the back. And then your uh, emergency brake is a drum brake inside of this. Well, currently, I don't have emergency brake cables broke, which is no big deal. So I don't even worry about the emergency brake because I don't, can't use it. And you don't really need it. This ain't stick shift. So, so you get it as tight as you can. And then give it a couple taps. And it's plenty tight enough. You don't have to go any tighter than that. So, then before I put my, before I put my tire wheel back on, I want to sweep all this out. Just to, I don't get that junk in my tire. Just like that. Now we're 
gonna put the tire on and we'll do the other side. Get your tire up here. This is why I only go as high as I have to to get the tire off. There's no reason to go any higher than that because you're just making it harder on yourself. Get your tire up there. Line the holes up. Alright, line the holes up. Line your holes up. Jack bled out, but watch. Fall right on. See? Right on. Look. You put your lug nuts on. It's easiest to start at the bottom. Just snug it up there. Go to the top, snug it up there. The tire should be on straight now. And go every other one. And this one. And go across from it. And go this one. And then the one cross from it. Now to tighten them down, I'm using the I'm using the uh, bar that came with the truck. This is just the standard tire iron that came with the truck. Nothing fancy. Oh, going the wrong way. Snug it up. Go straight across. See how all the bolts came loose there. You want this tire to go on straight. Because if you don't get it on straight, then you're going to drive it around. It's going to go straight, and then some of your lug nuts are going to be loose. So on your five lug pattern, you'd go every other one. Okay. This is six. So I'll go the top one, the bottom one, and then I'll go over to the, this one. Kind of make a star pattern. Tight. Go straight across from it. Tight. Now once I once I get this down on the ground, I'll torque it harder. Okay. Tight. Go over to. Tight. Go straight across. Tight. Now we'll put the car down, and we'll be able to really torque on the tire, and it won't spin on us. <laughs> my jack's not big situation isn't big enough for this truck so I gotta do one side at a time because my other jack's not tall enough and this one's barely tall enough so what we do is pick one to start on I don't use a torque crunch as you can get it with your arms straight across right there now we'll go over to here we're just making a star pattern Tight, straight across, then down here, then up here. Let's see how loose that one was. And that's it. Now we can take it once we do the other side, we'll do the other side. Take it for a ride, come back, we'll go around the lug nuts again, checking our torque make sure they're tight enough just by hand we're not using a torque wrench snug them see if we just go over push them that hard again i think the torque on these things i think the torque spec on this is either it's probably like 120 or 130 it's not a whole lot you can do that with this it's just as simple as put it on there push it as hard as you can don't use your feet Two arms cranking on it or anything like that. Just like that. That's plenty tight enough. Then you're going to take it for a test ride. 
You come back and see if they're just as tight as they were when you left. You do that again. Very simple. Um, now I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to end the video here. You guys don't need to watch me do both sides. Um, so two weeks ago I did the front. I should have made a video then because I changed the... I had the, the front U-joint um, was going out. I ended up tearing that out, changing that. I had a real bad vibration in the truck. So when I was doing the front brake saw, I had the truck up in the air. I kind of got underneath it to see if I could see what was going on. That's what it was. It was the front U-joint going out. So pulled out and fixed that about two weeks ago when I did the front brakes. Uh, I got some oil change. I'm going to have to do an oil change on this. I'm going to have to do an oil change on my wife's. Uh, she's got a 11 Acadia. I have to do an oil change on that too. I'll probably do them myself instead of taking them to a shop or whatever. So if you like this type of video, hit that like button. If you ain't subscribed, please subscribe today. If you want to see more of these videos like this, I'm mean, working on cars, uh, leave me a comment, let me know, and we'll do some more. You get to see me. Uh, Obviously, I got two oil changes coming up, so you see me do oil changes on this truck and in uh, her car if you want. Um, anyways, that's it. I'm going to get out of here, and I'll catch you on the next video. This is Woody. Peace and I'm out.